Hello everyone, dogs and my dogs here, and today we're going to be doing a very quick tutorial on how to edit textures for Fallout 4. Basically, I'm just going to take you through the process of extracting textures, editing them, and then putting them in the game, and then looking at them. So, we're going to Fallout 4. Uh, I am assuming you have either GIMP or uh, Photoshop, which can open DDS files. If not, I will include a link to DDS uh, plugin for Photoshop, at least. I don't have GIMP. Um, but if you do, I'm sure if you do a quick search, you can find it. All right, so the first thing you do before you even download any program to extract textures is you're going to go to Documents, My Games, Fallout 4, and Fallout 4. Open that up. Right down here under Archive, it's going to say S Resource Data Ders Final Equals Strings. This is what your file is going to look like. It's not going to have anything after strings. So what you want to add is that comma, and you might actually have to add that... Um, backslash, or the forward slash, and then you want to put textures in caps, and then another forward slash. Then just save, and then we can download our program. So we are on the uh, Nexus Mods Fallout 4 page. We are looking for Bay uh, Bethesda Archive Extractor by John WD7 Files. You're going to download that. It is going to ask you to download a uh, the VC 2013 redistribution thingy. Just install that because you do need it. Next up, you will, uh, it'll download basically, uh, just extract it, and then it'll be like this, and then you open your bay, and actually let's reopen it so that way we don't get lost. So, this will pop up, nothing will be here, you'll be like, why is it nothing, anything showing up? Go file, open file, and I'm gonna go to, uh, find your Fallout data, so you'll find wherever your game is, it depends where Steam is, or if you've installed some other way, Fallout 4, data, and then we are just going to go to one of the texture files and just hit open. And we can make this bigger. Boom. So there is no search feature for this at the moment. Um, but let's take a look at one of these and figure out what we want to do. All right, so we're just going to do something quick and simple. We're going to do a Broxo. So as you can see, everything is selected. We do not want to extract everything. So let's just do select none. And down here we got Abraxo D, N, and S. Uh, we're just going to extract the D right now. Uh, this is the regular texture. N is the normal or bump maps. And then S is the specular, which gives it the lighting and such. So uh, actually, we, we will open. We can extract all three of these, but we're not going to be using any of them. So we're going to do extract. This will pop up. And uh, let's just do Fallout 4 data. And then I. It, it should just create the uh, file path, but if not, then we will have to do that. So select folder, go back to uh, Fallout 4, data, and textures. And yes, it has created the file path for us, so super quick, super easy. Props, Abraxo DNS. And we're going to open these up in Photoshop, so yeah. All right, great. So we're in Photoshop now. I've opened up the diffuse map, and we'll open up the normal and the specular as well. I believe the S is specular. I would imagine it would be. So as you can see here, um, this is just uh, basically the stuff that kind of pops up, the height, height, so it gives a little oomph. Uh, but we're only going to be doing the regular D. We're doing the D, everyone. Ooh, doing the D. It's Oh, I burped hot dogs. All right, so I grabbed a piece of art from Melo Magoo Marina. Uh, link in the description to Melo Magoo's deviant art. We took a little brown bear breech and uh, shoved it in there. I put the layer over the irregular Abraxo. Did a little bit of a uh, poopy touch-up work to get rid of the background, and uh, this was a lot, 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 lot clean. Way too clean. So I picked up some textures, and we're gonna put it right over there shrink it down. Um, I'm mainly just doing this, I don't know, just to give an idea. If you want to make your textures a little bit nicer, instead of just slamming them on there. And uh, I am going through this a little bit quickly, I do realize that, but I uh, figure you have a rudimentary understanding of uh, Photoshop at least. So anyhow, um, we are going to select the color range of just this. And yeah, let's go that one. Do that. And there we go. A little bit super dirty. Maybe too much dirty. Okay, so let's save. 
I'm going to do File, Save, and it might ask, it might be like, oh, I want to do a Photoshop. You should probably save Photoshop, that way you just have the original file, but we are doing .dds, uh, Save, already exists, yes, Cooley McDooley's. Um, I just leave these as is. Um, if you want to use these settings, I, I, these settings are set up for New Vegas, so I haven't really read up, but I have tested this and it does work, so save that, and let's uh, go in game. Alright, so we're in game, uh, just going to do a quick console command, we're going to do help, abroxo, and zero. Going to get a bunch of those, and it says right there, miscellaneous, the very first one, abroxo cleaner, so player.place, at me, 59A71, hit enter, and if we look here, there you go, there's our brand new texture, and it does not... So, um, basically that's how you do new textures. You can do that with any texture in the game, replace it, and then it will be in that game. I've also replaced my uh, flag number one with the Goo Goo Bars logo, as you can see there. And uh, this one got a little goofed up because I did, uh, I think I messed up uh, the transparency maps, as you can see there. Uh, it's uh, just black where it should be transparent. You can see the other flag. There's nothing there. You can see right through it. But with mine, I messed up the transparency, and it's all black there. So, yeah, that's how you create your own textures. Uh, you can go crazy, basically put it on anything. You can uh, do faces, uh, tattoos, change the sky. Change the sky to Nicolas Cage. You can do any damn thing you want. So, thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Hope it helps, and I shall see you in the future. Away.